Ah. Another drug overdose. Looks like it. When will these ducks ever learn? <laughs> All right, Sam. Get him out of here. All right, Quince. Come on, boy. Got another one, Quince. Ah, oh, gee! Yeah, Sylvester's his name. Cause of death? Natural causes. Natural causes? You've got to be kidding. Look, he's over 10 feet long and he's flatter than a pancake. Somebody's kidding somebody. Sam, prepare for an autopsy. Oh, Quince, it's all in the report. Leave it alone, huh? Well, look, I don't buy that report. I got a hunch there's more to this case than meets the eye, and I'm going to prove it. Scalpel. Thanks, Sam. Just as I thought. Extreme compression on the tissue and on the bone structure. He was run over by a bulldozer. I guess that's that. No, no, not quite, Sam. Still doesn't explain everything. That's uh, the wood marks, all those powder burns, all the slice marks, the adhesions. Just doesn't make sense. Why don't you leave it alone, Quince? We're backlogged with cases as it is. Boss, I got a hunch. A hunch that that cat did not die by the weight of that bulldozer alone. And all I need is 24 hours to prove my point. And if you're going to sit back on your duff, I'm going to go out and do it myself. All right, Quince. You got your 24 hours. But that's it. Boss, I could kiss you. Oh. Tweety, you're not leveling with me. Dog's mouth. Great. Now all I gotta do is talk to Spike, and there's a whole ball of wax. I'm not coming out. You don't have to come out, Spike. Just level with me. Okay. All I did was chase after him as fast as I could, and then I bit off his tail. Uh, yeah, yeah. This, of course, tore the fur completely off his body, leaving him naked except for some stubble. Uh, come on, Spike. It's gotta be more than that. No, no, that's all that happened, I swear it. Oh, then he ran over to the bread factory over there. Of course, the bread factory! Oh, Spike, I can kiss you! You got proof, Quincy, let's hear it. Proof? I'll give you all the proof you need. Here's what happened. Now look, Sylvester was chasing Tweety down the street. He trapped him right at the bottom of a tree. And Tweety went right up the tree. And Sylvester went right up after him. He got him out on a branch. He tiptoed out on the branch right after him. And then the branch let loose. Sylvester went straight down. And then the branch ran right on top of his head. It just landed right on top of his head. All the splinters went in his head. And that's how I got those splinters. But right after that, Tweety went up to him and he stuck some dynamite right in his ear. He took about four pieces of dynamite. Boom! He blew him into 27 pieces. So he had to be stitched up. But that didn't kill him yet either. And what happened after that was, he started chasing Tweety. And he chased Tweety right into Spike's mouth. He ran in Spike's mouth. And Spike was in there. He was running inside of his mouth. He chased Tweety right outside. And Spike saw him. And he grabbed his tail with his teeth. He bit down like that. He started swinging him around and around and around. And he started fighting like that. You can see stars and a big cloud of dust. And now all of the fur came off of him. He lost all of his fur. Sylvester lost every bit of fur and he was bald. He was running around bald. But that didn't do him yet. So after that, Spike saw him. He chased him right down the street into a bread factory. He chased him into a bread factory. And then he went for him and he missed him. Sylvester jumped up and he landed in one of those conveyor belts. And it sliced him up like bread. 20 slices, just like that. 20 clean slices, and then it put cellophane over him. He came out looking like a loaf of bread. But that didn't kill him yet either. So then they put him on a delivery truck, and they delivered him. Where to? Right to Spike's house. They took him to Spike's house. Spike opened up the door. He went, ah. He saw Sylvester start chasing him. He chased him all the way up to a cliff. And he went after him, and then Spike stopped. Sylvester kept going. He went out about 20 feet like this. He's running straight like that. He looks down. He sees he's up in midair. He's got about 900 feet to go. He goes straight down, lands on a highway. A steamroller's coming along, spreads right over him, and flies him out like a pancake. And that's what did him in. Except for one thing. I've seen cats go through a lot more than that in movies. And they're, they're never killed. Young cats like Sylvester. Young? Sylvester was 97 years old. 97 years old? Then he did die of natural causes. Gee! Special yeah. delivery for Mr. Quincy. Thanks, I...
this ever happened to you? Hey, taxi! 